stage in the first, the challenger, running under the for tonight. Brings an undefeated record of two wins and no losses to the game. He weighed in 232 pounds. Running on a striker in Richlands, Virginia. Signing in on blue quarter tonight brings a record to the cage, eight wins, three losses. He weighed in, 266 pounds. So I got the Newport Comeback Club in Newport, Tennessee. Your reigning, defending, apex, heavyweight champion, Michael Bedrock! Co main event here at Apex 3, John Morehouse from MMA-Insider.com again with Tim Kitts. Commentary, Michael Snap versus Shane Wicks. This is, uh, I believe, the third straight fight that Snap has had against a, a fighter from the striker gym. However, this time he's fighting a newcomer to the gym, Shane Wicks, a uh, big football star up in Richland, Virginia. Um, we'll be interested to see how this fight goes. Um, if I had to guess, uh, I, and I don't know Wicks, Wicks is going to want to stick and move and keep Michael Snap back. Michael Snap's going to want to put him on the cage and bring him to the ground if possible. You know, Snap is a big guy. He's a big control guy. Uh, cage control is really his thing. Um, kind of a grinder. He's got that rep. I don't think he likes that rep, but he's kind of got that rep. And Wicks is showing that he can uh, is at least is as strong as Snap. As Bill Edwards coaches loud enough, he can be heard from space. Um, Oh, big knee to the body there. Snap didn't like that. Nope. Wicks is throwing an awful lot of energy in this. Now I heard his corner there saying no knees. Why do you think they're saying that? Two chances of the low blow. Okay. Knees are easy to grab a takedown. And I probably still want to be in the ground with Snap. Yeah, I think they're just trying to keep him going low because if, if he's throwing high kicks, Snap's going to take him down. It sounds like he's coaching from the stands. Wicks is looking uh, pretty good so far. He is. Uh, and it's, that's what he should have done. Just stick and move, stick and move. And Snap just can't seem to get back up right now. He did a good job defending the takedown early. They kind of tumbled to the mat there. You know, I guess a fair way to say it. Uh, and Wicks in the top position. Snap might be rethinking things or he could be waiting to see if something happens. He's going to have to like, jump on him like a spider. Snap is the veteran. Um, you now Wicks just made his debut earlier this year, I do believe. Oh, those body shots just then, I believe. Those body shots are affecting Snap. He listens very well. He's got good composure so far, and he's got very nice, bright pants. So if we if if we lose power, we'll still be able to see him. Oh, he'll be an easy target because Michael Snap is wearing black shorts, and we won't know where he's at. It's a big ninja. No kicks. They're obviously worried about the takedown there, I suppose. I'd like to see Snap moving his feet a little more, but I think he's just he's setting up for like a bum rush attack to get him to the Or he may just be trying to get through this round and reevaluate. Could be. Nice counter punch there by Snap, and that one rocked him a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, if, if Wicks has been in the second or third round, but, but Snap has. Snap will take it in the third round. He's got great. Fights. I don't He's think Snap. Him. Snap has not been finished in the whole time that I've been doing this MMA journalism thing. He is a very difficult guy to finish. Um, and he's got great cardio, which is crazy. I mean, Billy Johnson pounded him like a, like Rocky pounded one of those sides of beef uh, back in January. Uh, and he just kept coming and won the fight. Yeah, maybe what we see here again is, uh, I, honestly, James really threw a lot at him that first round, especially in the beginning, uh, trying to finish him early. And he could have some really great cardio. That's the one thing I've seen about football guys that get an MMA. Their cardio is usually fantastic because they're trying to push through like they did when they were uh, when they were football players. They, they go and they go and they go. Uh, but we don't. I don't know. I don't know much about Wicks. I just know uh, Snap can do three rounds. And they both look really good going into the second round. Neither one of them is sitting down. Uh, Got to get the stand-up advantage to Shane Wicks at this minute. 
But I think Snap may uh, may have come to life at the end of the first. Goes up and happy to get started. Wicks right around the street. Snap's got to learn to go side to side, forward and backwards. Learn to go side to side to advance the next strike. It's a different kind of fighter than Snap has fought. You know, he fought Billy Johnson, who's just a puncher, you know, kind of a brawler. Fought Kyle Jesse, who is kind of similar to Snap, and he likes to grind it out. Yeah. And now we got Wicks, who is uh, a more athletic heavyweight, fair to say. Um, probably his future is at, at least 205, I would think. Probably so, yeah. And Snap, too, at some point. I mean, Snap goes, when Snap goes pro, he's going to be a 205 right man. Yeah. And he's talked about it. Uh, hasn't had the need to yet. He'll get there. Yeah. Why can't they wait until you need to? You may need to after this one. The, the agility of Wicks is kind of winning this fight for right now. Snap does have some good ground game now at that ball brawl. So in summer, uh, took Thurman down and got very quickly to an Americana to win that fight, which is a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty slick submission move there. Thurman's pretty. Uh, Thurman's been in it for a while. So yeah. That was no easy pass. This is where. Uh, nice there by Snap. Okay. Wicks got control. Looks like Wicks bleeding a little bit. Wicks is a strong dude. Apparently. To be able to, to push Michael Snap around like that, that's not easy. I guess that's what you do in football. You, you do that a little bit. There's a little bit of pushing people around. Snap is cut somewhere. Uh, I think the blood is actually coming from Wicks from his nose. Ah. Looks like Snap's got some blood on his nose, too. That's what people like. They like the face punching. Oh, -ho! that one rocked Wicks bad. Now it's a ground and pound. Can Wicks recover here? He's turtling up. I think that just Snap to the fight. Snap trying to finish, and Wicks is able to withstand it and escape. Snap may be too tired to take advantage of it. And that cut Wicks over, right over the left eye. You know, it's been a pretty uh, pretty quiet round until that. And that was uh, the closest we've seen to a result. This is uh, to be into the second. It's one for one as far as I'm, as my I go. think I think I have a new favorite for fight of the night. <laughs> I think this has really? surpassed uh, Warden Duggar because it's a little more back and forth. It is. Uh, and I, I've got it uh, one for one for the round so far. So... Whoever comes out to win this third race, uh, we're going to Both of them still looking like they're fresh. Both of them on their feet. Both of them bleeding out of their nose. These are the same guy. Got Trevor Wilde whispering sweet nothings in Michael Snap's ear. I know it's Probably a lot of getting to the ground and hitting more. We got Chris Massey talking to uh, Mr. Shane Wicks. I'm sure he's saying just punch him and get away. Here we go. Yeah, he starts in the third. Both of them look really comfortable. Both of them look really fresh. Game plan wise, what would you advise both fighters to do here as we get in what's probably a round of peace fight? I would tell Michael Sam to do exactly what he's doing. And I would tell uh, Mr. Wicks to do exactly the opposite of this. This right here will win the fight for Michael Snap if he can maintain it. But Wicks is a very athletic guy. I gotta think he can probably stand up when he wants to, as long as he's got the cardio for it. It's been a very entertaining fight. You see a lot of heavyweight fights that are kind of plotting, you know. This has not been that kind of heavyweight fight. It is not. Heavyweights like to end in the first round. Uh, Michael Snap's not really one of those guys, and apparently neither is Mr. Wicks. 
who is maybe looking for a run up choke. It seems like his back is there if Wicks wants it, but. I'm not sure if he's familiar with the whole ground game. He's just content with punches. Snap's got his arm. Oh! Snap taking some shots here. Oh my! Snap taking some damage and gets right up. Michael Snap is a tough dude, man. He is, he is. If there is a heavyweight out there who can finish Michael Snap, I want to see him. And maybe it is Shane Wicks, but it hasn't happened yet. Shane I mean, Wicks is hitting Snap with some shots that will probably drop ooh. a lot of heavyweights. And Snap just smiles back at him. Man. I mean, they call him Bedrock, but they might need to change it to Headrock, because that boy's head is a rock. Or Stonehead or something. <laughs> Wicks not looking good for the judge to run away like that, though. Another big jab. That's what he needs to do, and that's what Snap needs to do. This is a good fight. Snap needs to change the angle and put him on his back. Beautiful, beautiful takedown. That's a big takedown in a close huge. fight. That is a huge uh, accomplishment by Snap. Toss, but it worked nonetheless. I think we're headed for, you know, I believe it's, uh, since the first fight with Kyle Jesse was a split decision. The second fight was a very controversial draw. Now he's going for the Americana. He's going for the uh, Americana. Which defended it. Um, I think we could be headed for another very close decision involving Michael Snap and a heavyweight from Striker. I think Snap's about to win this decision. Wicks does something incredible right now. Snaps just win this decision. Oh, what a fight. A lot of people on their feet. Fantastic fight. We'll await the ruling and I'll uh, be back.